Let's try getting multiple graphs on one chart. You can see that we have some information here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. We have a number of units of work completed. You can see that we, as a team, can get some work done, and we have staffing hours. So generally, we want to show visually that the less the staff there are, generally less work as the, the team outputs as a total. So once you have your information typed in as follows, you highlight the information, and you go to Insert, and you could click on Recommended Charts. And you go to All Charts, and then go to Combo. So this way, you can see that we are getting multiple graphs on one chart. If I just click on OK, and you can see that we have this nice chart here that visually shows, I'm just going to resize the corner here, visually shows that as there are less staffing, which is the orange line here, generally there is less work completed. Now what's interesting here is that this orange line is a little bit high. So if you want it a little bit lower, something you might consider is to use a secondary axis. So let me just click on this chart and press delete and try this again. So you're going to go to insert and you can go to recommended charts and click on the all charts or let me just try it a different way. Let me just click on this little drop down see all charts button and then go to all charts. So this is just another way of doing it and go to combo and let's see what happens if you click on this secondary axis. So if I click on secondary axis for this staffing hours, you can see the staffing hours is a little bit higher than the number of units of work completed. You can see there's a secondary axis on the side here. So what ended up happening, because we have a different axis that we're going by, is that this orange line is pulled down closer to the graph, which could be good and bad. Visually, it may look good because you can see the correlation here between the bar graph and the line graph. However, it might cause some confusion because when we're looking at these numbers, you might be confused as to whether you should look at the left numbers or the right numbers. So generally, I probably would not use this because it causes some confusion. So just a little word and note here, if you're trying to tr practice this for yourself, is as you're building up these days, Monday, Tuesday, you probably should highlight the first two, two values and just use autofill. Click on the bottom right corner, you see the black plus sign, drag to get this done quickly. And I'm just going to reproduce the same graph going the other way, sideways. I'm going to switch the rows and columns and just show you that it still works. So what I have here is I'm going to highlight the days. And one thing you can try here is you can just highlight this, press Control C to copy, right click, and you can even choose this transpose paste option, which is the fourth option in Excel 2013. I'm going to transpose this and you can see it's done quite quickly. So here's the work and here's the staffing hours. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice my copying, pasting, and transpose skills again. Now we could copy this one column here and transpose it towards rows by right clicking and choosing this option. But I'm just going to highlight both of these columns, press Control C and right click and transpose them together all in one shot. So what we've done essentially here is we've switched the rows and columns and let's see if this still works here. I'm going to highlight this information and I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to recommended charts all charts, go to combo, and you can see that we it still works. Click on OK, and we have this nice chart title, which you can stretch out by pulling the sides. You can even hold the shift button when you're resizing it to resize it in proportion. So for single graphs, we have a label on one row here, and just one item here for the column, but to have multiple graphs on one chart, we simply add a row here. And similarly, if you want to work switching the rows and columns, it's simply a matter of adding that extra column over here.